Hey guys, it's Josh at Kenworth and Richfield. It's supposed to be 50 degrees out today. It was supposed to be sunny. Since the weather's a little bit different, I figured I'd go with something different in terms of the truck. And being different sometimes means, well, a red truck. So guys, once again, I've got to make a little bit of an Ohio joke saying that we get a couple of minutes of sunlight every spring or winter. And unfortunately with that, it takes the sun to truly appreciate this color. There's just enough metal flake in it that when the sun hits it, it just beams. That's the only way that I can, I can really describe it on this truck. Beautiful, beautiful color. It's called Flame Red from Kenworth. Absolutely love it. We've used it on a number of other trucks. It just looks great. So with this being the W900L, it's going to have what you would expect on a W900L. Chrome stacks, chrome air cleaners, motorized mirrors, even the convex ones heated on this. Nice big flat steel bumper. Get your extra ribs on the grill, along with the screen that's permanently mounted in there to protect your radiator in that. So we've got your stainless quarter fenders back here. We've got a toolbox here. It's got the air tanks mounted underneath. It also acts as your step to give you access to the deck. There is full deck plating on this truck. On this side, you got a 110 gallon fuel tank. Nice polish on it. It's got the wide straps on it, which look really good. Def tank, we've got the polish cover on that too. Coming around on this side, we've got the polished cover and step that acts as a toolbox over top of the DEF and the SCR setup. Back here, 150 gallon fuel tank. We left blank frame space back there. If you wanna put another toolbox or if you wanna put something like an APU, we've got the room for you to do that back there. So to talk about some of the not so shiny parts of the truck, back here, Holland fifth wheel, manual release, but it's got an air slide on it for you. Underneath, the AG400 suspension, that is the one with the eight bags, very smooth riding suspension. It's also non-torque reactive, so it really helps with traction, especially if you're in an off-road situation. When it comes to round things on the truck, we're gonna keep it really simple for you. All the way around, Bridgestone, Alcoa, 11R24 and a half. So probably one of the most common questions you ever get asked in life is what's under the hood? In this case, it's a Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 565 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. All that is run through an 18-speed Eaton transmission. Yes, this is for those of you that like three pedals. All that horsepower and torque is sent back to these 355 rear ends. They are locking, they are on separate switches, so you have full control over what each axle's doing. So guys, this is a sister truck to the Midnight Blue truck that I did a video on last week. If you didn't see that, I covered the interior fairly well in that one, and the interiors are identical. I'm going to put a link to that video down here somewhere. It's, it's there, just trust me on this one. With all that being said, I enjoy these W900 videos. I enjoy all the truck videos, actually, but the W900s, there's just something about them that I really love. I also love reading the comments that you guys say about them. I mean, last time I got all sorts of garbage for keeping my shoes on in the truck, the plastic was down, so don't, don't have a heart attack, please. If you enjoyed this, please give me the thumbs up on this. 
Also, give us a share. If there's someone else that you know that's looking for a truck, put this video in front of them. Put one of our other videos in front of them. In the same sense, if you make videos and you're coming through Northern Ohio, send me a message. I'd love to work with you on something. As always, stay safe, keep it rubber side down, and I will catch you on the flip side.